Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Xfinity, and in particular, we're talking about splitting the Wi-Fi. Now you may be sitting there going, why would I wanna split my Wi-Fi? Well, Xfinity sends out the routers in a mesh network. That means it's going to send out 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz automatically to whatever device needs it at any given time and to whatever network has the fastest speeds. That way you never have buffering, you never have any problems. But it does not work if you're trying to add a 2.4 gigahertz device to your network. It will not allow most of those devices to connect. I'm talking ring doorbells, I'm talking security cameras, house cams, I'm talking little 2.4 gigahertz flying drones, whatever it may be, light bulbs, you're not gonna be able to connect them to the Xfinity router and you're gonna go absolutely crazy, but I have the fix for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix this problem, but yeah, all right, let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you have X5 pods is you wanna disable those, then follow this process. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our XFi app or Xfinity app, which is what it's called now. Once this thing fully loads up, you're going to see connect down at the bottom. It's one of the four options. It's got the little circle. Go ahead and click on that. Then you're going to see Wi-Fi networks. You'll probably not see two Wi-Fi networks because I've actually already split my Wi-Fi. So I leave it split 24 seven. So this says two because mine is split. So I'm going to click on that. It's uh, up near the top in the middle. So two Wi-Fi networks, click on that. Then you're going to see view or edit Wi-Fi settings. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Once again, Wi-Fi details, you're only going to see one Wi-Fi name. Mine is split. I have it changed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. Now this is the most important part of this whole thing. You have your Wi-Fi name and you have your Wi-Fi password. Those have to stay the same. You cannot change those. And I'm going to explain what I mean in a second. So at the bottom, you're going to see split bands, not recommended. Well, we need to get our devices connected. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up our 2.4 which now has the same exact password so it, it brought the password down here so that's the same so do not change that password at all and then come down here and you're going to want to make your 5g a different name and a different password now you're not going to be using the 5g unless you keep your wi-fi split if you keep it split then you can set up your own name and password that you want to remember if you are not going to keep it split it doesn't matter just put in whatever you want okay so now let's go back up here grayed out you have the original password you have the original wi-fi name down here you have the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi name and the original password and then this doesn't matter down here you're going to click on save once you click on save you're going to see your two wi-fi networks right up here and that's going to show you that you actually split your wi-fi correctly now if you want to remove the split what you have to do is go back into here and then you're going to click on the split that's going to remove it you hit the save button and it's going to revert it back to the way it was. And there you go. So your devices should be connected to your 2.4 gigahertz, which once you unsplit it, it'll become mesh again. So it'll go to five and two automatically, which is really cool. And it keeps everything running smoothly. But those new devices that you needed to connect will also connect inside of that mesh network with no problem. If it did not split, if it did not save, restart the router, unplug it for 20 seconds, plug it back in and see if it worked or just close the app, open the app again. And sometimes if you just wait 30 seconds to a minute, the process will take place. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to actually load in the system and get it all set up. So don't panic, restart, close the app, open it back up. It should work perfectly. 
if you are having any troubles, just go back to the beginning of this tutorial and start all over again fresh. Just make sure you do not change your Wi-Fi name or password. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble because the devices you had already connected will not be able to connect anymore. So write down the password and the name if you think you're going to forget it. Um, if you have any troubles at all, just revert back to that name and password and save it all over again without it being split and you should be good to go. All right, there you go. That's the Xfinity fix for the Wi-Fi splitting. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. If you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because you guys, I surpass 5K. Yes, people, on my way to 6K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.